College World Series finals, the first two games, seven of eight of their runs have been scored with two outs. So they are looking to build innings and finish them off. But this is a key situation for them because this is where they scored against Texas. Well, the contrary stat to that, last night 0 for 8 with runners in scoring position. In the air to deep right, a three run bomb. Holy cow. Is this kid something? The second home run for Jared Mitchell at the College World Series. Well, he's a first rounder by the Chicago White Sox, and Kenny Williams is liking this right here. And Les Miles absolutely loved it. Stay fair, stay fair, or get the field goal through the goal. Big moment early in this game. A lot of people already on their feet here at Rosenblatt. Well, interesting to see the step off right there. Are they trying to get to the curveball or does he want to stay with the number one pitch that he's had this inning? Up and in, struck him out. Keys chased the ball way out of the strike zone. And they leave the bases loaded. Two hits and a walk, but two strikeouts in the inning. We've played one, and it's 3 nothing LSU. LSU has been really, really good with two out. Up the middle and through for a base hit. They're good again. An RBI single for Schimpf, and it's 4 nothing. Two and one to Molden hour. Fastball. He lines it to left center field, but caught by Mata. He just outran that ball, and it was slicing away from him. Mikey Mata got off on this ball very, very well, but the beginning of the route wasn't correct. He read it as being in front of him, so then he had to veer back and a last minute stab, but his first break was quick but the wrong angle and changed his angle and was able to reach out and stab it. He just outran the ball. Renato has already matched his season high with five walks. On the ground is short. Force at second base and boy Nola took a chance diving in there glove first to make sure he got there in front of the runner. Another payoff pitch coming to Mitchell. Walked him. Guys told us not had a successful sacrifice all year. This one gets away from the catcher who was looking for the ball to be bunted. Cameron Ruck. Yeah, he's had some at bats in, in this series that have been unconventional. They've been odd at bats, but he's grinded the whole time. That's the one thing that he's done up there is he's still trying to get it over there. Not trying necessarily to get a base hit, just get it to the right side. Fastball into the gap in right center field. Mitchell held up, waiting to see if it was going to drop, but he's still going to score easily. And Mata flying all the way got into second base. LSU with the lead. Moved down to seventh in the order tonight. A move that really worked for Paul Maneri. Gibbs turns around to sacrifice. Good butt will get the runner over to third. Throw is high, not in time. Pulled him off the bat. And Helene, he looking for anything that'll work. He is only one for 21 at the College World Series. Track for a sacrifice fly and gets a run home.
couldn't have come at a better time. Yeah, you're looking for a ball out anytime there's a guy on third base or less than two outs. Just get a ball up in the zone so you can elevate it into the outfield. Easy. Austin Nola, the number nine man. Tucker ranges wide to his left and throws him out. Two. This one gets away from the catcher and it will get Gibbs into third base. And LeMayu is aboard. Put the fastball away. That was up and up and in, and it did hit him. Two and one. And that one did hit him. He sold it pretty well, too, didn't he? Well, Austin Wood on his fastball away he seems to be pulling it a little bit. And when he tries to make an adjustment, he comes underneath it. But two guys on the jersey got him right on the back hip, right above the hip and on the jersey. Kelly's saying, no way. Now the right hander, a base hit through the hole in the left. One run scores. The throw to the plate off line. Chinko against the left. He comes through with a two run single. Well, how about that? You had a walk, hit by pitch, hit by pitch, and then a big two run single. Yeah, anytime you, you get a guy, a couple guys get hit, now you know the pitcher's got to come into the zone. And Sean Ochinko just sitting on a fastball right in the middle of the plate, pulls it into the hole. Big boost for this offense. And the lefty from Baton Rouge is on to pitch. Chad Jones, another football player. Oh, breaking ball. Got him. Well, when you get it up there at 90 with a fastball, that hook looks pretty good. Well, this is a solid little slider, too. I mean, he starts this looking like a fastball away, and it just, oh, it just drops right on the corner. It looked like a fastball down the middle, and his, his head football coach cheering for sliders now. A ball and two strikes to Moldenauer here in the sixth. Struck him out. Moldenauer knew it. He doesn't act like a baseball player. He doesn't react like a baseball player, but he can play baseball. Straight away center field, plenty deep to get a run home. Connor Rowe will make the catch, and Austin Nola scores easily from third, and Texas into double digits. With a double tonight. Great stop by Helene. He comes up and throws him out. Boy, this kid has flashed leather the entire series. Unbelievable play, but this one, he dives backwards. He's going towards the shortstop and still has the ability to get up and get a strong throw off the first base. It's just an extremely difficult play for a third baseman to dive towards the outfield and get up and still have enough on it and the quickness to get the runner at first base. Unbelievable. Pretty good. That thing is crushed, but it's hooking. And it is a home run just inside the pole. There was never a question of whether it would get out, but whether it would stay fair. Maybe he didn't know he was already the player of the game. <laughs> 